Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is dedicated to the worst, worst trends, trends of 2020. 2020. A different sort of video from my channel, but when I put the question out there on my Instagram stories, I, it's something I do every year, but I usually do it on my blog. I put out a question to you guys to submit your most hated fashion looks of 2020 and you guys ran with it. It's so funny, the responses I got. I was in stitches all last night. Honestly, I, I don't think I've laughed this hard in a long time. Before we get started, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my videos here on YouTube. All right, let's get into your most hated looks of 2020. So here you go, here is the call out that I put on Instagram for the most hated looks of 2020. So I would say the most popular submission would have to be these Bottega net shoes. You guys just hate them. You hate the shape of the square toe. You hate the fishnet covering. You hate the price, the whole nine yards. But they were everywhere for the past year, past year or two or so. Um, I think that they are, they're not for me. I would not wear them. It's not necessarily the square toe. It is the fishnet covering and the square toe, I think, just enhances how ugly the shoes are. <laughs> so the next trend that you guys just hated so much was the whole sweat look. This is so popular and like the whole sweatsuit look, sweats in general, so popular because people are now working from home and there's no reason to dress up anymore. But so many of you felt that the head to toe sweat look was sloppy, slovenly. <laughs> I had to laugh so hard. Um, one of you actually said, effing sweats, when did everybody start looking like that guy I dumped in grade 12? I laughed so hard. So there you go. I, I laughed so hard. Yeah, so many of you just don't like this look. You don't like the androgyny of it either. Yeah, um, so this plays into the next trend that you guys hated, and I got a lot of submissions about this, and that is this year's lack of femininity. So I thought that was a really, like, telling trend. Looking feminine takes work, right? The careful dressing, dressing for your body type, dresses and luxe fabrics and you know even tight fitted clothing all of that is so feminine but it's not conducive to the pandemic right it's not conducive to working at home or if you're a mom staying at home taking care of your children 24 7 you're obviously not going to wear a ball gown but I think so many of you just disliked the lack of femininity in current fashion because you know, tr um, a huge trend is sweatsuits, and that's a, a pretty masculine look. Also, another trend that I saw this year that rubbed you guys the wrong way is the oversized everything. That isn't conducive to femininity. So yeah, you've got this perfect storm of the global pandemic, teleworking, you know, no need to dress up anymore, and all of those things are sort of quintessentially feminine. So yeah, maybe we, you know, fashion is cyclical, and also when people go through a long period of one particular trend, the fashion trend will swing in the complete opposite direction. So I'm going to call it right now, I think su super feminine looks will come back with a vengeance. Okay, so the next trend that you guys hated were scrunchies, specifically oversized scrunchies. So many of you said that it's unwearable, it's ridiculous, too much of a throwback to the 90s. A lot, that's another thing you guys hated were 90s looking fashion. But yeah, you guys were savage about the whole scrunchies. You just cannot stand them. Ouch. I personally like scrunchies. As a woman with relaxed hair, scrunchies are just so much easier on your hair. They don't pull or tug. That's why I wear them. Am I going to get dressed up and go to a fancy dinner with a giant scrunchie in my hair? No, but I don't hate them either. They, you know, they, they don't, I'm not mad about scrunchies, okay? So the next trend that you guys hated 
are Levi's jeans. I don't get it. Levi's are the best. I absolutely love them. I'm wearing them right now. The Levi's hate, I don't get. Like, I think that they're so flattering and, I'm sorry, the butt. You just, you can't get any better than that Levi's back pocket amazing look. Don't uh, get mad at my VPL. <laughs> but yeah, I do love a good Levi's. Oh my God, this is so funny. Two words, tie-dye. Tie-dye was everywhere this year, specifically in sweatpants. Um, I like tie-dye on other people. Please don't get angry. This is my personal opinion. I think tie-dye is juvenile and it's like made specifically for children and or reminds me of like dead heads, you know, the Grateful Dead or Cheech and Chong. I just think it's impossible to make it look inelegant, but that's the thing. Tie, I don't think tie-dye is necessarily supposed to be elegant. <laughs> another one, another one of you said that tie-dye just looks so cheap, like you're not trying. Ouch. <laughs> so I got a lot, a lot, a ton of responses for neck sweaters and shrugs. We're seeing this everywhere. So the shrugs with the turtleneck attached, I think it's a really, really huge look. I am seeing it everywhere. I think it's really, really cool when you're wearing it with a, you know, a cropped tank top or a full on tank top. I just think it's a very, a very sort of fresh look. Okay, so this one I get. Um, brand new filthy looking sneakers a la Golden Goose. So many of you hate this look. You do not understand how any fashion brand in their right mind could charge eight, nine hundred dollars for brand new sneakers that look like they were fished out of a dumpster. You really, really, it, it, that guys, <laughs> really got your backs up. Okay, so the next trend that really set your heads on fire were bum workout pants. So you know those really, really tight yet thin and super stretchy, um, like workout leggings, but they'll have a seam down the crack of your bum, so it really makes your bum look like big, bubbly, and juicy. So many of you hate those. Um, I got all sorts of responses from, here, that's uh, what I put out, but so many of you said that it looked trashy, um, a very judgmental person said that it looked whorish. Ouch, <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Women can wear whatever they want. Uh, but yeah, you just thought it was too overt and trashy looking. <laughs> okay, so ear piercings are really huge. Ear stacks, they've been in style now for a few years, but I really saw a lot of it this year, which is funny because due to the pandemic, I'm not quite sure where you can go to get your ears pierced, but lots of you are hating the whole ear stack look. I like that look personally. I like a lot of um, piercings, but I would probably cap it at maybe, like, it, I, I guess it doesn't matter. For me, probably four per ear, but yeah, I guess I could see if, you, if you've got like the, like so many, maybe it's a bit distracting. It doesn't bother me. I don't know. But yeah, you, you guys are not feeling that trend. <laughs> Adult onesies and rompers. <laughs> I think they're really cute and I think that they're really comfortable. I have like 10,000 of them. I, uh, the, the only thing I don't like about rompers is that, you know, you have to get completely undressed to use the bathroom. But yeah, a lot of you said that they are, they're childish, uh, unimaginative, stupid. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I got a lot of votes for cropped hoodies. Many of you do not like this look. Maybe again, it ties into the whole, the sweats look that you guys don't like. Maybe you feel that it's sloppy looking, but you know what? I think that if I had a choice between a full on sweat outfit or a full on sweat outfit with a crop top, I would probably pick the crop top because it looks a bit more feminine. And frankly, I think it looks a bit more pulled together, funnily enough. Okay, I must have gotten like 50 plus submissions about padded headbands. You guys hate padded headbands. <laughs> wow, I'm not mad about them. I think they're really cute. They have like a princessy vibe, like very princess bride looking. I think they're really pretty and adorable. I think, you know, some brands, some looks go overboard, but I think they're a really sweet look. I think they pull together an outfit really nicely. Yeah, I don't understand the hate for that. Okay, this one I am on board with. The, the Bottega 
Frankenstein looking boots. I think they're called the lug boot or the tire boot. I'm just looking it up here. Yeah, the lug boots. Please don't hate me. And by no means am I some sort of fashion icon, so take this with a grain of salt. But I hate these boots. They are so ugly. Like the tractor tire sole. I don't like how the height of them, like on the on the shin. So I feel like they're too low to be a nice knee-high boot and too high to be an ankle boot. They look tough and stiff and Frankenstein, I just, yeah, I have a, I, I hate these boots, man. I hate them. I cannot wait till this big ass, terrible looking boot trend is over. Which leads me to the next submission that was easily by far the most popular was your hatred for the Prada monolith boot. I do not get this trend either. I have a, I hate these boots so much that I have a physical reaction when I see them. They are so immensely popular. I see them on all sorts of girls and they look, you know, some people carry them off so well. I like when these fashionistas make them look like feminize them. So, you know, wearing them with a great pair of tights and a little black mini skirt and maybe an oversized blazer that's belted. I think that looks really, really great, but they're still so big and clunky. I hate how they draw the eye down to your feet so that you cannot focus on anything other than these giant boots. They make your feet look 10 times bigger than they actually are. I hate that Prada put that little bag on them so it looks like, you know, a prison ankle bracelet. I feel like these boots are so bad on so many levels, but what do I know? <laughs> they're, so, they're so ugly. <laughs> they make me so sad. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. It means the world. There were so many other entries for other fashionable trends that you guys couldn't stand. In fact, honorable mentions go towards the sleeveless t-shirt with padded shoulders. You guys cannot stand any sort of mini bag. And you also hated vests and waistcoats. I like them. <laughs> It would mean the world to me if you subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Remember, please don't take this personally. We all know that everybody has their personal tastes, dislikes, and, and likes. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm at Dominique.Baker, and I have a blog, StyleDomination.com. Wishing you guys the happiest new year. See you in the next video.